What's up everybody? Welcome back to another comic book review. My name is Chris and today I have No Justice. Justice League No Justice number four. This is the final issue and I also have Green Arrow Annual Number 2, which is a No Justice tie-in. So, cheating a little bit, getting two for one. Um, I thought this was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful way to end the, the No Justice story. It's just four issues. And uh, it's... Man, if you're... If you're uh, if you're a DC fan from that is uh, you know around my age, there's nothing there's nothing not to love. I th I don't think you know there's um, it brings back a lot of characters and I don't know it just it it sets things back to the way it, it that I feel it should be you know. There is, um, there's a Hall of Justice now, back, finally, which, I mean, we knew that because of the Dark Knight's Metal, but still, this actually shows it. Um, it's just, it sets everything back to, way, to the way it should be. Uh, Martian Manhunter's back, finally. Um, and, I, I don't know, it just, I loved it. I loved everything about it, um. You know, I had I had issues with um, issue number three with the art. Like half of the book was done. Um, I can't remember the guy's name now, um, but I had a really big issue with his art style. And uh, thankfully, Francis Manipool came back and did the whole book himself and finished it out right. And uh, it's just gorgeous. I think it's it's it may be his best work. If not, it's damn close. I can't think of anything he's done better. So I mean, um, which I mean that's saying something because he's very good. He's very good. Um, the story. It felt like they a little bit they tried to shove in just a little bit too much. But, man, are those guys good at that. <laughs> you know, like, you can barely tell that they're, that they had to shove in a bunch of stuff. For the most part, it was very well put together. And they did, I mean, there was a lot of stuff all in one issue. Um, but the three, the three guys that did it are three of... I, I, can, I hate to say they are the best writers, but they are, they're, they're way up there. They are some of, especially the, especially when you say writers that are still writing today, they're up there, you know, with the highest of the high. They're three of the best writers that have ever wrote a comic book. And, I mean, they're just, they are, they're awesome. Um, but it, uh, it definitely, it definitely is going to turn the DC universe on its head. Um, I, I don't know where they're going to go with these, um, these cosmic beings. I'm not really sure what they're going to do with them from now on. I, I, I mean, I know they're going to show back up. They have to, but... When I don't know, and how I don't know, uh, so I don't know. Uh, uh, it makes me really excited for the future. Um, I don't know. I've I've been waiting for Snyder's Justice League run for uh, ever since he announced that he was going to be doing it. I've been waiting on it. So uh, I don't know. It, it's I'm not sure what else to say. It's a beautiful book. It's, um, oh, one thing that I did love that, uh, I haven't heard anybody mention this. There was a whole lot of, um, two page spreads, like the whole, almost the whole book was just 
beautifully laid out, and I love that. You know, a, a an event like this deserves a whole bunch of spreads, and um, I'm gl- I'm really glad they did it because it, it looked really good. You don't see a whole lot of you don't see a whole lot of books like that, and when they do, it does. It's usually not done very well. I don't know if and uh, I and I thought it was done really well in this one. So, uh, rating, oof, I would give it an eight out of ten for my, you know, for myself. Um, I just I think it is that good. You know, I've heard I've heard other reviewers say that it was you know they it was hard to follow and a lot of crazy stuff was happening that that they didn't understand, but. I didn't feel that way, and I don't know if it's because... I, I get all these books, always. It's not... Um, like Justice League, Batman, um, you know, Action Comics, all them. It's... I don't just get them whenever there's an event like this, and I feel like a lot of the people reviewing these books are lost because they're not... They don't read... They don't read these books all the time. And so, whenever something like this happens, they're lost, you know. And I don't know if that's true or not, but I just, I don't know. That's the only thing that I can think of. Because, I, you know, I get them. I always get them. And so, I'm always up to date on them. So, I don't know. That, that might be their problems. Um, but I didn't have a problem with it. I thought it was, the art was absolutely gorgeous. The layout of the book was absolutely gorgeous. The story was gorgeous. It was just uh, absolutely beautiful. It was executed well. The covers are dope. Um, and I'm glad. I'm glad that there's no variants, to be honest. I usually, like, I love getting the variants, but I'm glad there's no variants. And I'm glad they're wraparounds. It's just. It's really cool. It's a neat thing. Um, but there you go. Eight out of ten, I would give it. And then on to Green Arrow Annual number two. This completely blew me away. I had I like I was not expecting this to be this good. I haven't read I I've gotten Green Arrow. I don't always get it, but I, I get it occasionally, and it's usually if the cover's good. I hardly ever read it. I know that's that might sound bad, but um, I hardly ever read it. I'm just I I never was that interested in the Green Arrow. I never have been. So I never it, like I've only gotten Green Arrow whenever the covers look good, but. I'm gonna have to start getting it now. I am uh, if I don't know if if the Bensons are on point always. If they're always this good, I'm definitely I'm just gonna subscribe to everything they write. I I am. And Carnero is that his name? Carnero did the art absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I was floored by it. I had no idea that that Green Arrow was this good, and it, and it might not be regularly, but I'm thinking that it probably is. If if this was this good, I have I have uh, I've got doubts that that the regular Green Arrow run wouldn't be close to as good. It just man, I was completely blown away. Um, this takes place. Before, or like right at the beginning of the No Justice um, event, like whenever it starts happening, this takes place right then, which I thought was really weird that it came out, because these came out the same week. These came out, you know, No Justice number four and No Justice tie-in, Green Arrow annual number two, came out the same week. I figured this should have came out the same time as number one, but I'm kind of, I, well, actually I'll take that back. 
I just realized th- when I was thinking about it, um, something happens at the end of annual number two that happens. It also happens at the very end of here. And uh, the reason why I didn't say anything about it, talking about this one, is because it happens in this one. That's why it didn't come out. And I just now realized that. Um, but they essentially make Green Arrow, like, he's not the most powerful person in DC, but he's... He has the power to shut down the entire Justice League. They gave him... Martian Manhunter gives him something. And they don't say what. They have. They don't say what. So um, I'm already assuming that it's going to, you know, be... Uh, it's going to have something to do in the future. But there's something in this box that Green Arrow is supposed to be in charge of that can completely take out Justice League. So, that's pretty cool. So now Green Arrow actually has some kind of clout. You know, he's got some weight behind him now. So, I thought that was really neat. Um, The art was amazing. It was absolutely beautiful. It was gorgeous. Um... The cover, I, I don't know. I I hate Amanda Waller. If you haven't watched my first three reviews of the No Justice run, you you would know. I just, I hate Amanda Waller. I hate it. I don't want to see her on the cover. I hate her effing guts. She's just, ah, oh man. And, I, and that, I mean, that's the point of the character. That's why she's there. You are supposed to hate her. You know, she's a heel, essentially. So... I mean, they're doing their job when they make me hate her. But, God, I just, I hate, I don't want her on the cover. God, she's not a good, um, she's not a good cover character. She's not a good cover bad villain, you know. But, she's definitely a good villain villain. I just don't want her on the cover of the book, you know what I'm saying? But, but no, it's, it was, uh. I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to give any any p- parts of the story away because I think everybody needs to go out and read this. Um, and you don't have to read you don't have to read the tie-in to know what happens in No Justice. It doesn't. It's not essential to the story. You don't have to know, but it is nice to know, and it's also so well wrote. And so well drawn, I think everybody should read it. Even though you don't have to. I think you should. It's just, it was really good. I was, and, and I, it, may be, it may be really good because I didn't have much uh, expectations going in. I don't know. Um, but it was way, way better than I thought it was going to be. And I don't know. I can't recommend it enough, really. Um Especially if you're going to get all four No Justice, you might as well pick up the, the tie-in. You might as well. Um, but I would give, I mean, I'd give it an 8 out of 10, too. I would. I'd give both books an 8 out of 10. They were, they were both beautifully done. Uh, they were just, they were both awesome. Comic books at their best, I think, you know. Um, in you know, for, and that's, that's coming from... That's coming from a DC fanboy. So, I mean, of course... And I'm a Snyder fanboy, too. You know? Uh, which, I mean, I love I love Tinian. I, I love... I love Williamson. I, uh, Williamson, uh, he can get a little too wordy for me. Uh, you know, just... He, he can... He can fill up half a page with his dialogue, but... He's kind of like the... Uh, kind of like a cleaner Quentin Tarantino that writes comic books. But, uh, but yeah, and they're just, I mean, I, I realize it, this is coming from a, a fanboy, so you might not want to take my word for it, but I think you should. I think everybody should. I think everybody should read these books. And, um, yeah, 
that's my review of No Justice number four and Green Arrow Annual number two, No Justice Time. If you if you like this review, then please give me a like and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, then please leave a comment telling me why.